President Trump has a lot to accomplish when he visits the United Kingdom this October, not the least of which is to apologize for his insulting and outrageous accusations that the British government was spying on him on President Obama's behalf. He must also be ready to entreat and make nice with the British Parliament, which has voted to ban him from appearing before them, and with the people of Britain, who have also demanded that he be banned from visiting entirely. But instead, Trump's biggest priority is making sure that he gets to ride in the Queen's gold-plated carriage. The London Times reports the White House has made clear it regards the carriage procession down the Mall as an essential element of the itinerary for the visit currently planned for the second week of October, according to officials. Rather than going out of his way to make his visit easier on the British, Trump has created a massive security headache for the Metropolitan Police who are already struggling with plans to protect ungrateful Trump while accommodating the observing public and dealing with the tens of thousands of protesters who are expected to surround the area. Of course, President Obama, ever the considerate guest, opted to spare our closest ally the security headache and went for the armored motorcade. It appears that Princess Trump is also demanding a visit to Balmoral Castle in Aberdeen. Scotland. As he spends the second day in a row on his Florida golf course, it's obvious to everybody that President Trump has no interest in governing or the affairs of international politics. He simply wants to enjoy the trappings of office and the perks that come with being the so-called leader of the most powerful nation in the world, but has no time for the responsibilities that come with them. What do you think? Comment below and share. Scroll down to comment below. Occupy Democrats helped contribute to this report. It's News Exposed signing off.